Basically, when I came to the Bay Area, there was like almost nobody knew what Jungle was. And then we started the bass crew. It's basically me and a bunch of guys. <laughs> we started throwing the first kind of successful jungle parties in the Bay Area. And then Eclectic is a newer thing. I think, like, you know, because the party is thrown by women, it welcomed a lot of other people in who might not necessarily vibe with the whole almost like hip hop like aggressive guy stuff. You know, we don't sit around and do each other's nails, but it's more like, you know, here you can sit down with a girl and be like talking about records and how the sampler works and like all this kind of stuff that's like, I guess traditionally like, you know, what guys do. Last New Year's Eve, I played at this party in pretty much the middle of nowhere. The turntables were on this rusted out um, car. I, I swear know. nobody's like, even paying attention to me because there's this Asian kid go-go dancing next to me and he was doing all this mime stuff and he had all these girls like crawling all over him and rocking the car while I'm trying to play. So, you know, I get paid, I leave. It's been raining all night, so I turn on the car. I start driving in this direction, and all of a sudden I'm totally stuck. Then, like, there's all these kids waiting around. I'm like, I'll give you guys all a ride if you pull my car out of the mud. So I've got, like, five ravers in these enormously baggy pants trying to lift my car out of the mud, and these kids are getting, like, covered. They're so pissed. <laughs> so that was my New Year's Eve, and I still had fun. I think production's, like, kind of the next step for me and hopefully like give me more energy about everything that I'm doing and I just bought a sampler this week so it's gonna be kind of like a new new set of challenges. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is hooking it all up.